Hi guys, my name is Claudius Memba, and I'm here to uh, demo uh, our Delivery.com uh, Challenge Post Hackathon app. Um, and to keep in mind, um, it's only been uh, about 10 days of, of, of continuous hacking, but we really feel accomplished of what we got done. And I'm here to demo Liquory. So Liquory is a uh, alcohol, meaning wine, uh, beer, liquor, delivery, type application um, integrated with uh, services such as delivery.com, untap.com, yumly.com, and a host of other uh, platforms. Um, just going to quickly demo through the process um, because of the short, uh, the, the time constraints we had, we chose not to uh, implement guest checkout um, and guest cards. So. For this application, you at the moment you have to have a login, or you can create one easy. So I'll demo this. You can either create a login, or because I already have one, I'm just gonna log in or log in. And in order to authenticate, you have to authorize this app. So now the app is connected with my delivery.com account. I can make orders um, and view items, view merchants um, that way. Um, we also have a host of, uh, we, so we incorporated the delivery.com um, account where you can view addresses. And here are the host of different addresses I've added. Um, you can set if you're doing an order, a delivery order, you set your order address to any of the addresses um, you've added, um, or you can add a new address just a simple uh, simple form to get that done um, because I'm going to be doing a delivery address I'm going to set my addre order address early on um, and you get an indication that the address has been set you can come back here and change it if you want but we'll leave it at that um, I can view my order history um, when we moved from sandbox to production we made the decision not to place any orders um, so if you were if uh, if you were to place orders, they would show up here um, with the options. Uh, it would give you a list view of the orders, the uh, total, um, the date it was placed on, whether it was confirmed or not, whether it's favorited or not, and and we were going to code in the ability to share that order to uh, social media. The ability to share social media, that functionality is not fully supported. Um, you can check out different payments. Um, these are your saved credit cards. You can easily add another one if need be, um, but I already have one on there, so we'll leave it at that. Um, another great thing uh, that we added, um, well, we'll go through search first. So we'll search. Um, cool features we have are search by location as well as search by keyword for an item or search by image. Um, if you're on mobile, search by image will, um, will will prompt you to use your camera to take a picture and it will query that picture. Um, search by keyword just has you type in an item and you can search by that item. I'll demo search by location first only. For each of these you have to search by location is required. So if I were to try to continue, um, you have to search you have to you have to place a location for the search. Um, I can choose delivery or pickup, we'll choose delivery and we'll just leave these two blank and just search. Now if I had not set my delivery order address um, prior to this, the application would have given me a uh, alert telling me to go set that because um, you need to set an order address for delivery. Um, so you can see here we integrated with uh, Yelp.com um, and their API to pull in merchant images as well as different ratings. And if you go into a merchant, there's more there. So these are the results, um, but if you go into a merchant, you can see um, the merchant name, location, their phone number, which is a, which if you're on a phone, you can click to call, um, a Yelp review, the minimum order amount, and important notices. Um, you can also go back to that list of merchants uh, that was searched in that area, but here you see the merchant's inventory. You essentially get a full view of all the alcohol, liquors, beer, wine this merchant is carrying. Um, and it goes for goes for days. Um, 
but we can choose an alcohol. So let's use absolute peach, a peach vodka. Um, if there's a description, it'll um, show you the description underneath here, underneath the price, but we can just purchase to eight bottles of these. And like that, I've added it to my cart. Now I can go view the cart here. And let's see. So this is the last I this is the last one I did. These are previous uh add-ons, ads, but this is the eight eight bottles of absolute peach vodka that I added. Um, I also have the ability to clear the cart, which I'll show you. So that cart is completely clear. Um, I don't have any carts right now. We'll go back again and this time we'll choose 10th Avenue Wine and Liquors. And you can see in a kind of Pinterest style way, <clears throat> that's really popular these days, um, the results show up with images. So we'll choose the uh, Bark Classic Noir. Create a really nice image there. Um, we can we'll order five of those. Like that, it's been added to my cart. Now, um, we'll go back to that list of merchants again and order from another merchant um, and show you how we kind of do cart aggregation um, so that the user only has to go to one spot to see all their carts. Um, we can choose, we can choose East River Liquors. And from them we'll buy some Sky Vodka. Um, get a ton of those. So these are two different merchant orders. It's been added to my cart. So now we can do view the cart aggregation. So under view carts or checkout, you can see your aggregated carts. Um, it'll tell you different merchants you've made or purchases under. You can choose to view those carts, which will show you this was this was a previous order, but this is the 10 I just added. Um, show you the, those carts. Um, or you could check out this cart, which will aggregate for you the total um, and you can proceed to check out that way. Um, but because we're on production, choose not to demo that. Um, let's go back and do search by keyword. So like I said, we also integrated with untapped.com, which is a beer um, social network for, for beer enthusiasts. And um, I happen to be part of it. So we'll, we'll do a search for beer and show you cool functionality that um, you haven't seen yet. Results for Coors Light, search by keyword, perfect. And these are different um, items from different merchants. So we'll choose, um, we'll choose this uh, six pack. Um, and you see down here, which you didn't see before, um, on the previous orders of liquors, if it's a beer item, um, on tap, you can you can choose to log in and add that to your on tap wish list, which we'll demo real quick. Um, simple authorization process. Success. So now I'm authorized. Um, it would ask you to connect this with your untapped account, um, but once you're authorized, you're able to add to your on tap wish list, which we'll do real quick. Um, I'll show you how that process. Cool. So Coors Light has been added to my untapped wish list. So now if I go to untapped account, this is untapped. Um, this is my account, which we just added Coors Light to my wish list. So you can see right there. Um, so now if, someone, if I want to tell my friends, hey, go buy me this beer, they can go view that. Um, so now we can also, that was a uh, search by keyword. And I'm going to also do a search by image. So search by image, I'm going to search this Coors Light image as well. Um, there's several different ones we could search. Um, 
but we'll do that for now because it's up. Um, so this cores image, um, and you just have the address, and you can search by image. You can see here um, we get a list of different uh, terms or different items based on that image search, and within it get some cores. Um, more are loading potentially, but these are from merchants within that area. So we're going to go to this one and just buy a, a case real quick. See a beautiful image there. Um, we'll buy, buy three cases. And it's been added to my cart. As you can see, it'll bring you back once you add it to that merchant. So we bought it from Village Farm Beers. If I go to my carts to view my carts or check out, Village Farm Beer Store has been added to that list of carts that I have open. Um, I can, again, view that cart. Um, which is this is the this is the cores light I bought and previously tried to buy a uh, um, 1.5 gallon uh, made order so again you can see the total here um, and then you can go to check out that card um, so that was search by the keyword and search by image really cool. Uh, feature we also added as a recipe of the day. So if you're, you really like liquors and want some new ideas to make, we um, integrated with yummy.com as well and we're pulling from their API um, to give you some cool, each day you get a new recipe so you can go try to make a raspberry mango sangria and what we envision is that you will see the ingredients needed um, and then you can choose to go search search for for the alcohol needed to see what merchants in your local area are, are, are uh, selling that alcohol is to purchase that alcohol and go ahead and uh, and make your recipe um, oh, by the way these images are being queried from uh, Google Google image search um, so we're, we're it's 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 quite uh, Amazing, actually, how how uh, how correct and and accurate these images are for the for the item names. Um, but we incorporated Google Image Search to get these images. Um, so I could buy five of these as well. Um, and that's just to show you that. And uh, so it's been added to the cart. Um, again, on the merchants, you can see the merchant image, their open or closed status. Um, if it was, uh, if this merchant was closed, this would, this image would be a closed sign. Um, their inf information, you get a review, great selection, such like that. Um, and important notices, minimum order amount. I can go view the item I added to that cart. Okay, um, five of those. You can see the math done there. Um, and then, so if I view my carts, it's been added here on the Phillips Liquors. If I go to check out this cart, um, again, the total is there. I can choose the address that I want it to uh, deliver to. Um, it picks from the address set. I can add a uh, tip amount. I want to do $10, $20, $100. Add a tip amount, hit checkout, and that would post and your order would then show up in the order history. Um, but again, because um, we're on production, I'd rather not place an order. I'm gonna show you guys mobile. So this is a mobile view of Liquory, liquory.com. We'll go to the index page. Um, just kind of scroll through the different uh, layouts. Again, that's addresses. Add an address. Give you order history. Can add payments. Can view different carts. Um, can do the recipe of the day. And you can search again on mobile if you're using Chrome, uh, mobile Chrome. This feature would allow you to snap a pic with the 
the camera or upload from gallery, whichever you choose, snapping makes more sense and you get that information. Um, just quickly, we can do all the features I showed you there are doable here as well. Um, let me just show you the merchants in this view. There you go. You get all the merchants, all the merchant data as seen before. And finally, log out. So when you log out, all your um, sensory session data is cleared and you need to authorize the application. So, unauthorize, log out of a account.